The Atheist Gamer asked, So do you think it's possible that we can make feminism become a good thing again? Yes, I do. But this requires that more feminists actually look at the problems with some of the concepts that are being shoved forth uh, in feminist theory. Um, you know, the feminist theory way of looking at objectification is fucked up. It, it's messed. It demonizes sexuality. Um, the other thing that's messed up is this element where you say you want to treat, we, we want to treat men and women equally, and then you turn around and say that we should treat women like these delicate flowers that we should treat like queens. Uh, no. No, that doesn't, that doesn't fly. You know, unless you're saying that, I mean, well, some of them are saying that we should treat men that same way, and I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> no. We shouldn't assume that everyone is, the, there are these delicate things, and if you're saying that we should treat everyone, everyone that way, then, I mean, that's more than, than, that's a heck of a lot more than telling people to treat women the same as men. That's saying that we should look at everybody differently. Now, I already, <clears throat> I already went over that in uh, my, one of my other videos, but, you know, those are the things that need to really be looked at. Other things might be how, you know, men are, men are supposed to dress this, you know, this certain way when they're around women and, or, you know, to be, to look professional and all that kind of, kind of thing. But then if a guy wants a woman to look a certain way, it's unacceptable. It's like, uh, no, we can't have those kind of double standards. Either no one is able to say what the other person is supposed to look like, or both sides are able to say what the other person is able to look like, you know? There needs to be some balance there. You know, these sorts of things need to be discussed with, with, with more feminists. And don't be saying, oh, well, it's not really an issue. No, fuck you, it's an issue. You know, not, not, the, not you, the not atheist gamer, but just anyone who tries to say that it's not an issue. You know, uh, sorry, it's, it's an issue. These things need to be looked at. This, it'd be nice to be able to consider feminism a good movement. I can't right now. There's too much messed up about some of its very basic values. They're inconsistent. And they don't fully make sense. So... Well, unless you go fully with their, this, their, their ideology where you're supposed to look at all humans this certain way, and then, you know, then it works. So. I am cancer to some asked the question, what kind of music and movies do you like? Um, I really listen to just about everything. I, I world music from all over the world. Um, music from China, music from the Middle East, music from Africa, uh, music from tribes that you've hardly heard anything from, and you get these rare recordings. Um, you know, I I like a lot of stuff. The, the main thing for me is that it has to be musical. You know, I'm not into to, I'm not into noise. You know, if if the if notes have been dropped, there's there's no concept of notes, and it's just this noisy sound. I'm not interested. So that includes vocals. I don't like screaming, growling vocals. It just, it, it takes away from the song to me. Um, you know, I, they can be in a song once in a while, but it can't be the main feature of the vocals. So, you know, that counts out certain types of metal. You know, I'm, I'm just not into it. Um, I'm not into uh, gangster rap. I'm not into rap that sits there and basically is just really misogynistic and uh yeah i'm i'm not into that um now i mean if it's I, I don't care if it's talking about doing sexual things with someone but if it's sitting there making it sound like women should just be these things no no i'm, I'm not into that attitude i'm also not into the kind of rap where it's just where, where it's, it's a cross between these two it's two things it's, it's got to be these two things together where the accent is so thick that I can barely understand it and when I finally understand it all it is is this guy bragging about himself you know not into it not into that um, 
but you know, if I if they are bragging about themselves, and I can understand every word, you know, I can sometimes get into it. Like I can get into Eminem. I can always understand what he says. Um, but uh, I don't get much into new country, old classic country, great. But the new stuff just it just seems fake to me. It seems very artificial. It's like. Well, we're doing this style because it's popular and, you know, here, here's a song. It's just like, it, there's, it doesn't, nothing seems that heartfelt. I mean, they'll, they'll have these songs that they'll, they'll try to have these lyrics where they'll look, look at this terrible situation that happened to these people, you know, but it's not, it doesn't ever seem like something that they really have felt something that's happened to them. It, it doesn't seem that way anymore. It's just this style, kind of like, I don't know, new blues is kind of that way too. It's just like, it, it, oh, it's just a style. Well, okay. Um, you know, I, there's, blues can be kind of rough for me. Uh, um, Cause it's just, it's so often just the kind of, it's, it's basically the same progression over and over again. Um, my favorite kind of music is stuff that is experimental, is, uh, somewhat unusual in, in in some way that there, you know I I like odd timings I like you know especially you know five eight or five four let's just say five and seven nine eleven thirteen fifteen seventeen you know odd time signatures something that's a little bit more interesting to listen to than the constant 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 four four that we're always hearing four four the very very occasional three four and then there's uh there's songs like Womanizer by Britney Spears that does the 6-8. Uh, most people probably don't even realize that it's doing that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, because it's, it's a 6. Um, you know, uh, I don't know why I needed to mention that, but most a lot of people try to pass off, oh no, that's a 4-4 four, four song. No, it's not. It's a 6-8 song. Um, you know, I like songs that use... Um, unusual progressions, uh, non-common progressions, even ones that almost sound random, but then you can still eventually find a pattern in it, you know? Great. You know? what? I get annoyed by one, four, five progressions. You know, the Louie Louie, the, uh, uh, there's a number of blues songs that kind of, kind of hint that way, um, they're, they're out of the different blues progressions that there are out there. Uh, I guess blues doesn't use it that much, but... I don't just it's the one four five thing has just been used so 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 much. It's I mentioned African music earlier, and it's like well, yeah, so much of the African music ends up using the one four five, and I get kind of bored. But the stuff that doesn't use that one four five, I'm like, hey, this is cool. Um, let's see, um, opera. I am not that much into. It takes a very very rare performer to be able to do opera in a way that makes me feel like they're really expressing themselves instead of just doing this stuff according to what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to make the vibrato more full at this point. You're supposed to, you know, all these, this, these rules. It's just, it just seems to be a bunch of rules and it seems kind of stuffy and, and, and I just, just haven't been able to get into it much, but there's other rare times that I can. Um... Artists that I like, let's see, uh, uh, Radiohead, Soundgarden, uh, uh, Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass, uh, uh, Deanna Warwick, uh, uh, Chicago's first five albums, or six albums, uh, Led Zeppelin, uh, Pink Floyd, uh, The Beatles, uh, not their older stuff, when they, when they, when they got uh, George Martin as the producer, you know, and, and, and on, because then they had... Uh, Oh god, I can't remember his name now. Uh, well, the, the guy who produced the Let It Be album, you know. Um, I uh, I like a lot of '80s new wave. Um, George Michael, uh, uh, Heart, uh, uh, Nina Hines, uh, Bjork. Uh, God, who's what's the group that did the song Liz to Mania? I can't remember the name of that group. Another good one though. Um, uh, Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, 
I like a lot of Bossa Nova from the 60s. Uh, Ant- Antonio Carlos Jobim is great. Great stuff. Um, uh, Brazil 66. Um, uh, Mohamed Monur. Um, there's this... The album that has the song Sif Sifa on it has that's just a fucking masterpiece of an album as far as I'm concerned. Um, let's see. Uh, there, there's a whole bunch more, but I mean it's 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 pretty varied. I I I I, I like a lot of movie soundtracks. Um, John Barry, John Williams, uh, Jerry Goldsmith. Um, um, uh, you know, I liked Mazorgsky, Stravinsky, uh, Debussy. Uh, you know, I it's it's varied. It's very, very, very varied. Um, so, like I said, it's it's actually easier for me to describe what I don't like than to describe what I like because I I like a lot of types of music. Um, oh, one more that I, I've made videos about it before. I'm not that much into stuff, you know. I'm not much into trance. Um, it's very rare for me to like an EDM song that does not have vocals. It's rare. It happens, but it's rare. Um, like, for instance, you know, I like some of Daft Punk's stuff, even though a lot of it doesn't have vocals, but they somehow mix things pretty good. Oh, yeah. Uh, Boards of Canada is a really cool... Uh, hash Baxter. Baxter! Well, I guess I should end the video because he's going to keep barking and barking and barking until I go over and do something. So, anyway. And now I'm continuing the video to go into movies that I'm into. Um, my favorite type of movies are the ones that make me think. Um, I like really weird movies. I like movies that are just like, what's going on here? That I'll have to watch it again just to figure out what's what's happening. I like those. Those are those are great. Um, I, uh, but you know, <clears throat> it's hard for me to say that I like a particular type of movie. So much of it <clears throat> revolves around the story writing and the acting. Um, you know, you could have the best plot in the world, but if the, if the, uh, if the writing is terrible and if the acting isn't very good, it doesn't matter. And you could have the worst plot in the world and, um, if you have good acting and good writing, it's, it's great. Um, like, I mean, <clears throat> the fifth element. You know, if you break down the the actual plot, it's 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 silly. It's just like, man, would I really want to see this? But all the acting was so over the top. The writing was was great. Um, the characters that were created were were, were fantastic. So I loved that movie. Um, I you know, as far as recent movies, you know, it's, well, not that recent, but I just God, I'm showing my age. Uh, I loved the whole Harry Potter series. I thought that was great. Um, I I don't make nearly as much fun of the first, the new first three Star Wars movies as some of the others. I don't. I agree with people about Jar Jar Binks, but uh, the uh, you know I didn't think the movies were that bad. The uh, the acting could have been a lot better, and the um, the dialogue could have been written a lot better, but, you know, at least the, the the plot kind of kept it together. Kind of. Um, uh, some of my favorite movies, though. Logan's Run, uh, uh, Time Bandits, uh, 12 Monkeys. I, I like just about... I basically like all of Terry Gilliam's stuff. I like all of... Uh, uh, Stanley Kubrick stuff. Um, uh, Ridley Scott is a great director. Um, 
I, you know, Blade Runner, just about that's that's in my top three movie favorite movies of all time. Blade Runner is just fucking fantastic. Um, well, let's see. Uh, I like a lot of old classic movies. Um, there's so many that I have not gotten a chance to see. It was only just a couple months ago that I finally got to see Casablanca, and I I totally get why it's so well renowned. It's interesting that. Um, that movie was the, the the dialogue to that was written in a way where it's people would speak what's actually on their minds instead of the way that we usually flub up our language and and just have regular conversational language. It it uh, everyone just says directly what's on their mind. It was just very interesting, a totally different type of writing and, and a different way of approaching movie making you know it just did a different standard back then it, it was it was really neat um i cannot stand moulin rouge i i could barely make it through about eight minutes of it just no no i do not like things that try to mix up later periods into an older period and then oh these songs from these later periods let's mix and no don't mix this stuff up don't screw that up that messes with me i i very much associate certain styles and film in and production and uh sometimes uh social values and uh, just the way that pop culture goes I, I really attach it to certain years. I mean, I, I can usually hear part of a song and tell you what year it was made. I've n I don't even know what the artist is. I can just hear the production values and tell you when it was made. You know, and I can see the same with movies and stuff. And so when they, they Moulin Rouge is just just taking that and just taking a knife and just pound, you know, screwing it into someone. You know, as far as I'm concerned, because it's just like it's just. Yeah. It's 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 kind of movie wise as an abomination to what something should be for a period, you know. I don't know, <laughs> but um, there was a time where I used to say that I, oh, I don't do this kind of kind of movie, and I don't do that kind of movie, and you know, I I can't really say that much anymore because some some so many movies have surprised me. Um, I guess there's only one type that I can safely say that I'm not into, and that is the frat boy kind of movie, the frat boy humor kind of stuff. It's just not funny to me. I, it doesn't matter how... Uh, it, I, I've just never seen an example that even got me to smile. It's just like, oh, no. You know, so... Um, I guess another type of movie I wouldn't be that much into is one that the only thing that it celebrates is blood and guts. It's just like, you know, there, there has to be some something behind it. There has to be a reason. There has to be some human drama or something behind it other than just, uh, oh, kill, kill, kill. Oh, no, that's all right. Um... Yeah, the only real, honestly, the only movie that I really, really, really liked by Tarantino, I mean, just, well, I should say, the only movie I loved by Tarantino was Pulp Fiction. I, I've seen the rest of, well, I've seen a number of his other ones, and I just, it just, it kind of goes into that, that area. It's like shock value of, of violence, and it's just like, I don't know, I, I just kind of, I mean, it's interesting. Was it Reservoir Dogs? Is the one where uh, you know everybody dies in the end? Just everyone? <laughs> it's like, I mean, it, it, I'm not saying I didn't like it, but it just it wasn't a favorite. Um, and Inglorious Bastards, I could like watch like three minutes, and then I'd forward. I'd use the forward option for 10 minutes and then maybe watch a couple minutes again and then forward again for 10, 15 minutes, you know? It just, just wasn't my thing. Um, 
I do like uh, the uh, some of the silly types of movies. I I, I love Airplane One. Uh, that's just that's to me that's still one of the best comedies ever ever made. But that's my opinion. Um, uh, stuff like Kentucky Fried Movie is great. Um, the uh, uh, um, Amazon Women from the Moon, which is, uh, if you haven't seen it, it's 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 not really just some cheesy movie about Amazon Women from the Moon. It's like a whole series of all these different little skits here and there where it gets interrupted all the time. And uh, yeah, kind of similar to the Kentucky Fried movie here and there, but you know, a little different. Um, I like some really cheesy B movies sometimes. Uh, you know, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, The Stuff, uh, uh, what Newcomb High. Uh, uh, you know, really cheesy, really bad, corny stuff. Um, I uh, I still like The Last Starfighter. Uh, I still love the first Tron movie. Uh, you know, uh, so it's 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 assorted. Um, well, <laughs> this is a pretty long video, so I guess I will end it now. So I'm gonna end it. <laughs> <laughs>